The two and a half mile grade two Peterborough Chase will kick off day two. Corletto Pertic goes at the top four. Darren Thompson, Mercer and Newis, Graham Clutterbuck, the Long Pauls, Joshua Sutherland, Caulfield, Alex Cherry, Cleveland Treasure, Vinnie Gerard, Gold Coast, Kevin Minahan, Loyal Alley and Swain Fortbeard for Leon Van Rensburg, the Overlord, Joshua Sutherland, the Ringer, David Robertson, Carbon Neutral, Graham Clutterbuck, Garrett Gina, Paul Rhodes, Gated Complex, Darren Thompson, Northern Life, Kevin Minahan, Sapphire and Steel, Martin Leedham and Verglas. For Alex Cherry, so a field of 16 then for this Grade 2 event. Called in and away. A little bit slow at the back was Gated Complex, but nothing to be alarmed about. Mercer and Nubis is the first one to show as they make their way towards the first of 16 fences that they've got to negotiate in this one. And Gold Coast has now come through to take it up for Kevin Meenan in the green with the orange. They take the first. Which they all successfully get to the other side of, and Gold Coast and Mercer and Nubis have opened up by about four lengths already to the third place horse Overlord on the outside as they take the water jump, and they're also safely over the water with Caulfield, the early back marker. So, making their way down towards the third of the 16 fences, then, and there's nothing to choose between the two there is as they take that one, but Gold Coast made a serious mistake and has subsequently lost two or three lengths and left Mercer and Nubis out on its own. So Mercer and Nubis then the clear leader at the fourth. As they all get over the fourth, with Gold Coast just dropping down the pack a little bit now. Gated Complex, who was a slow starter, has moved through into second. Then the ringer of the long paws and Loyal Alley and the Overlord. Sapphire and Steel, the one widest on the track as we get the aerial view over fence number five. With Mercer and Nubis the clear leader, but Gold Coast now being moved back up into second. Loyal Alley is in third, and the Joshua Sutherland pair the long paws and the ringer with tucked in behind them Sapphire and Steel Ward on the track, Swain Fortbeard and the ringer with the two um, Darren Tom two Darren Hunt Thompson horses, that one on the inside is Graham Clutterbox and that's Carbon Neutral Gated Complex was the Darren Thompson one looking towards the back gallant Gina is just a little bit detached from the rest of them about three or four lengths a drift off the rest of the pack and uh, Sapphire and Steel made a mistake on the outside at that one and racing down towards the next end and Gold Coast has now taken the lead Gold Coast has taken it up then from a Nerza and Nubis and there's a fall on there Carbon Neutral's gone so Carbon Neutral out of the race or Graham Clutterbuck that one's departed as they come up to pass the stand and Gold Coast will lead Graham Clutterbuck to the horse Nerza and Nubis by a bet Two lengths as they pass the winning post, then with a circuit to go. Third is Lauren Alley, then the long pause is four. Swain Fort Mid is five, and Sapphire Seal Water Track is six, then the Overlord and the Ringer, and then Gated Complex as they take this ditch on the way away from the stand. And there's another one down there, Verglas has gone. So Verglas has departed at the ditch, and a mistake there by Swain Fort Bill, or Lauren Alley, I think he was actually. Lauren Alley, the second of the Leon Van Rensburg horses, made a mistake at that last one. So we've lost two. One or two making mistakes, but it's Gold Coast who made his mistake earlier. Let's record from it well, and he's in the lead by about a length and a quarter. From Mercer and Nubis in second, Swain Fortbeard is third as they get into the tenth. Because they're all successfully over. Then comes the long pause in fourth. Sapphire and Steel is fifth. The ringer is after that one, and then the Overlord Gated Complex next on the inside of Loyal Alley as they get over that Cleveland Treasure. Northern Life Corletto Perco Tertico is after that, and Caulfield. He's a little detached, and so too is Gallant Gina at the 12th. A the mistake there was by the second given Minahan horse, Northern Life, but his other one is going well enough in the lead at the moment, leading by the best part of two as they get over to the 13th. And just three left to jump now. And the race is on in earnest, and Gold Coast is the leader. Mercer and Ubers is in second, knocking out of the first two all the way. That one as they get to the third last. Over that one they go. Mercer and Ubers, though, made a mistake there. We've just seen it drop down the pack, and it's Gold Coast who's in the lead from the Long Paws and the Overlord. Then on the outside, Sapphire and Steel's come with a run. Swain Fort Beard is there. Loyal Alley trying to get back into it as well. The Ringer is there. Gated Complex is trying to get a run through, and he's managing to get a lovely split as well at the moment, trying to come through around the outside. is Cleveland Treasure, and then making their way towards the final 
three furlongs there turning for home. You can see the two final fences there in the straight, and it's Gold Coast in the lead from the Overlord in second. Then in third comes Gated Complex, the long pause on the inside, going round the outside, Swain Fort Beard, then Loyal Alley over the second, as they go, Sapphire and Stills after that one, but it's still Gold Coast in front. Gold Coast now being pressed hard by Swain Fort Beard as they race down towards the final fence in the Peterborough chase, and over they go, and it's Gold Coast still just in the lead, Swain Fort Beard second, Gated Complex trying to come between the two, Gold Coast is sticking on well in the lead, finishing well is Loyal Alley, well with some, some sort of speed that one, but it's Gold Coast who's hanging on, here comes Gated Complex, a one last lunge, fast finishing, Joshua Sutherland horse as well, but Gold Coast has just held on, I think, Gold Coast, raving, battling bravely up the straight, and they were all coming to challenge, but they couldn't get past him, it looked like something was going to just have that little spurt and go by, but it didn't quite manage it, and Gold Coast has taken it for Kevin Mina, and got his mistake out of the way early, and recovered, well, Gated Complex second for Darren Thompson, Third was the long pause, Joshua Sutherland. Fourth, Swain Fort Beard for Leon Van Rinsburg, who also took fifth with Lula Lally.